Hello everybody and welcome to this week's update video. My name is Martin. I'm an Inkscape developer developing features and fixes for everyday Inkscape users. Uh, welcome to my update videos where I talk about some, some of the work that I've been up to in the Inkscape project this week. Uh, before we get into the work, I want to give a big shout out and a big thank you as always to the people that sponsor me. Um, my time on Inkscape is basically paid for by you guys. And uh, I want to thank and thank you every week for trusting me to be able to deliver the kinds of features and the kinds of fixes that you need. Okay, let's get into the actual work this week. So um, what I'm doing uh, in the next few weeks is actually uh, trying to make the 1.3.1 release, the, the basically a bug fix release of 1.3 Inkscape, um, and, and take all of the fixes that have happened and backport them and test them so that they're all available uh, when we make the release. Um, I probably said that in the weirdest way possible. Essentially, I'm working on release management for the next few weeks, um, prioritizing making sure that all of the fixes, especially crash fi fixes that we've managed to get fixed, uh, make it make their way in. Usually, uh, point releases are much more stable in Inkscape because we uh, fix a bunch of stuff that we find and a lot of our testing is done by, by users and users will find things that we never caught during the alpha and betas. Um, so uh, we've got I've got about 60 fixes lined up and uh, I'm basically working my way through, through that list. Uh, this is to say that if you want to get something fixed uh, for 1.3.1, especially if it's a regression, especially if it's a crash, um, this is your time to let me know. Um, I'm going to try and focus on making sure th those fixes are available. Um, I, I definitely want to make sure that this point release is a success because I think that 1.4 is going to be unstable, uh, or at least more unstable because of all of the GTK4 stuff. And so... I'd really like 1.3.1 to be sort of like the most solid it can be. Um, so I'm being a little bit more aggressive with backporting, you know, maybe an extra feature. For instance, I'm backporting the glyphs fix for um, converting text to glyphs, uh, which usually wouldn't go into a point release, but um, I'm hedging my bets a little bit on just how stable 1.4 will be. Uh, we always hold out hope that the new release is going to be like rock solid and that testers will come together and that we'll get all of the stuff fixed. Um, but just in case we have a bad release because of the GTK4 stuff, because don't forget uh, when we did GTK3, we also had a similar problem for uh, the color management uh, stuff. I'm refactoring the color, the, the like central color object inside of Inkscape, which actually touches quite a lot of Inkscape's code base. It's 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 an internal refactoring so that um, the way we talk about colors inside the code, at the moment, uh, always assumes red, green, and blue. Like every single time, red, green, blue. What's the red, green, blue? What's the red, green, blue? All all over the code base, and um, I need to clean that up. Because if I want to make colors that are cyan, magenta, yellow, and black instead, or, or any other kind of um, color definition, uh, I need the code to be more flexible. So I'm basically making refactorings for how both uh, color definitions work, how colors are stored, and how transformations between color spaces are, operate. Because I want to make it easy for developers. I want to make it straightforward that they can just use the code and, and, and know what they're doing. Um, it'll also enable some uh, other functionality. We should be able to do things like um, hue, saturation, and lightness definitions inside the SVG, which we haven't traditionally supported. I believe that's a part of CSS3, uh, or maybe it's CSS4. Uh, but if you're a web developer, this might interest you. Um, so that's the work that I've been getting up to. That refactoring process is probably going to take some time, uh, but I want to get it right. I'm going to do some test-driven development. Let's talk about some of the other Inkscape work. Uh, this is features and fixes that I didn't do, um, but is a part of the wider Inkscape community that I'd like to talk about. Um, first of all, Habir has been fixing a bunch of things in the live path effects. Uh, a lot of these things are being backported to 1.3.1. Uh, nice work, Habir. PBS, Daniel, Tav have all been uh, working on GTK4 stuff. Uh, they continue a monstrous pace. Uh, actually causing some issues for my feature bran branches, but that's okay because the code quality in Inkscape is definitely going up. Um, Vahib Malik, 
I'm probably definitely not say, saying that right. Apologies. Google Summer of Code stu students got their toolbar, GTK4 toolbar migration uh, merged, which means their, their project is a success. Nice work. That brings us uh, forward a lot for that G GTK4 work. Um, KRLR 17 fixed some regressions. Um, Taylor727, who's a new contributor, um, added the ability to close the about the dialogue with the escape key. Uh, Thomas Holder fixed a few issues in, in macOS, uh, group to sims and symbol, and a node tools crash. And I just wanted to hi highlight the good work that happens in the Vectors team. The Vectors team is the Inkscape outreach team, the people that do things like social media and uh, news art articles and that sort of thing. Uh, uh, PRKOS is making uh, backups of Inkscape's Twitter account uh, uh, in the a certain expectation that Twitter might not be around forever. Um, and we want to make sure that we have a record of what we've said on Twitter and, you know, people that have responded to us. Um, Marin, Michelle and Pono are organizing an event for the 20th anniversary for the middle of November. Uh, details will follow, uh, but hopefully that'll be a lot of fun, probably involving some developers, probably involving some users. Um, hopefully it'll be recorded or at least it'll be a stream, but you'll we'll, we'll, we'll get information out, uh, hopefully through social me media. Um, and that's about it for this week. Uh, thank you all so much for jo joining me. Please let me know in the comments what you'd like to see. Uh, please consider joining me on Patreon or LibrePay if you'd like to support my time on Inkscape. And um, I will see you all next week.